Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. I hope you're following me over there on my business page and on Instagram. Um, today is another uh, episode of Scripture Saturday and we are working in our war binder and if you'll remember, um, I try to rotate my scripture Saturday. So um, one week is um, art journaling in my traveler's notebook, my standard size traveler's notebook. One week is Bible journaling in my journaling Bible. And then one week is war binder. This is a B6 size traveler's notebook, but it is my war binder. It's my faithful life insert. We've got all kinds of good scripture writing in here and uplifting messages in here. This was the last one that we did. And here we are on the next page. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of my B6. And um, if you will recall, Warbinder to me means that when I am warring with myself, um, I'm down on myself or I've had a bad day, something like that, I can always come back to my war binder and find uplifting and inspirational things. There's no woe is me stuff in here. It is good, inspirational, uplifting, great stuff to come back to um, in case, you know, I'm just having one of those days. And we all have those days every once in a while, you know. So, today we are in the book of Galatians uh, chapter 6 and verses 9 and 10 and it says and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are the household of faith I love those two verses from the Bible. Um, we're not to uh, get weary, even though we do. <laughs> we're not to get weary because we're doing good. We're uh, well doing. This is King James Version of the Bible, so um, it is um, the old standard language. I love the old standard language. Um, and it is just some uplifting verses to tell us, yeah, you're going to have bad days, but don't get down on yourself. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep going down that righteous path. Um, even though our righteousness is filthy rags, keep going down that path, that good path that you know you're supposed to be going down. And God's going to go before you, and he is going to heap on the blessings for you. Um even on verse 10 where it says uh, let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith so we're supposed to be as Christians we're supposed to be good to all people no matter their shape their um, their look about them if they're mad they're sad they're whatever no matter their skin color their race whatever we're supposed to be good to all men, all women, all children, all everybody's. <laughs> and um, it goes on to say, though, that we are especially to be good and do good unto those who are the household of faith. So people with like minds, like faiths, like religions, things like that. We're supposed to help them out and do good with them and bear one another's burdens and scratch their backs and help them out in situations. So um, do good to all, but make sure you're still doing good unto those of the household of faith, too. I love those two verses. Anyway, the way I want to decorate this, I want to write out my scriptures here and then write about my thoughts about those scriptures here. And I got out this um, book page that I had watercolored on a 
few, well, it's been a few months ago in a video. And I actually did this on camera for all y'all to see. So if I remember, I will <laughs> link that in the description box below. I try to do two and three videos a day. And um, then at night after I have prepped supper and, you know, got all of my household chores and things done, I will sit down and edit the videos and get my little thumbnails made for the picture that you see when it pops up. Um, all kinds of work goes into a video even after you have made it. And so um, when I go to edit, <laughs> sometimes I forget, hey, what did I mention in that video and I'm supposed to leave them a link to. I um, find it really funny though, sometimes um, I'll get comments <laughs> on videos that are years and years and years old and um, the person will ask in the comment, um, what was that um, tab punch you used? I don't know. It was years ago. I don't, I don't know. I would have to go back and look. Um, so I've always said that if you um, go back and you watch some of my older videos if you have any questions please 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 try to get the timestamp from where it was that I used whatever it was that you've got a question about so um, if you know 10 minutes and 14 seconds into the video I say something or use something that you've got a question about in your comment go hey in at 10 minutes and 14 seconds you use blah 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 then that way I can go back find that really quickly and um, then I can give you an answer as quickly as possible too so um, just a little heads up if you go back and watch older videos and I know mom is the same way over on her channel uh, scrapbooking with me crafts um, she says the same stuff. I get comments and it's on an older video and I'm sitting here racking my brain trying to figure out what in the world did I use or what did I say that's got them questioning that or, you know. So if you will um, use that time stamp and it shows it while you're watching the video. So it will be very easy for you to pause that video start your comment and say hey at this four minutes and eight seconds you said blah 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 where can I find that if you will leave us that timestamp that helps us so much so there are my two flowers I've got fussy cut out that I watercolored on book page so I have my own little embellishments that I've made here. I love that. And I'm just going around each one of them with some walnut stain ink. And I see that uh, my washer is, clothes washer is in the spin cycle. So that is the roaring you may hear. Even though I do have the door closed, I can still hear it and I can see the reverberation of it coming through on my speaker, my microphone. So um, I've decided that I'm going to get out my scrap pile to um, make whatever decoration I'm wanting on this. And I want to try to cover up quite a bit of this just because I hand lettered on that previous page so you can see it. So I want to, um, see, there went the washer. It stopped its spin cycle. <laughs> I want to um, cover that up a little bit. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, but I would like to cover up some of that. And I want a straight edge to put at the bottom. We can go ahead and just cover it good. I'm thinking... I really like that. I love the green down here. Let's have something else just right above it 
there. So maybe a little... <laughs> and right as I say, ah, oh, it stopped the spin cycle. There it goes again. Oh yeah, I like that. We can ink that up really good. Yep, that's nice. I'll have to do my flower around like this so the stems won't get, or I could do it like that, but then my wording on my, you know, when you do it on book page, you have to watch where your wording is, so I think I'll do it like that. I like it like that. And then maybe a little something else right there. I like this blue polka dot. Let's see what a little line of that would look like. You know, have it kind of scrapbooky looking. I like that. And then we'll just cut off excess. Yep. Okay, and then over here, I want to add this other one. And I'll need to add it about like that. So let's just go ahead and do another little right across the front, um, or across the whole page, I think. Yeah, I like that because I've done quite a few over on the side. If I did it over here on this side, I don't know. Hmm, I know, let's do a corner. And then that way I've got writing space that goes here and then all the way down. So let's fill up that corner right there. I mean, that's really all you do, y'all. You just kind of figure out what feels good to you, what'll look good there. Okay, let's get some of this coffee dyed paper. And yeah, we could do like a little banner type, maybe. Let's do just a little bit more. Let's make it a little shorter. There. And I know some people don't um, do a lot of um, decorating as far as when they do their scripture writing and stuff like that. And that's fine. You don't have to do any of that. But um, when I'm doing my faith journaling and stuff like that, I like to have a little bit of decoration. I like I like that. Um, let's do... I like these little blue flowers here. And that could kind of go along with the blue we have over here. Maybe have it stick out just a little bit off the edge of the page there. Oh, I like that. Pretty. Um, let's do a little tag of something. Ooh, maybe we could do this and have it there underneath that. I like that. Just a little something extra there. We like our book pages around here. Y'all know that though already. Let's do a little torn piece of that ledger paper back behind there like that too. So we kind of got bannerish looking there and I like that. I like how that looks. Okay, let's go ahead and ink up all of our pieces and I'm thinking that I want to ink with the new um, Uncharted Mariner. Mmm, that's a pretty color. It's a brand new color from Tim Holtz, and um, I'm just loving it. It's a tilly blue color. It's just, it's, it's pretty. So I'm just going to barely do a little bit of that on a couple of edges 
of my watercolor flowers. And let's go ahead and ink these pieces. I'm going to get me a torn edge of that blue off on that side too. And I'll just go all the way out. I know that I'll be cutting some of that off and then I can ink the rest of it when I get it put on the page. And I'm just going to ink the top and a little bit of the sides of that book page. So I'm going to, this is very, very thin paper. So I'm not going to use, oh, I went all the way to the edge. <laughs> I'm not going to use liquid glue on these that are right up against that paper because then we'll get some yick going through the page and I don't want that. Nobody wants yick, you know. Alright, I'm going to turn this over and trim off that excess. Okay, and then do a little bit of ink on the edges of the page and then we need to get this shimmy down in there because I forgot to leave myself some room to do that All right, and then I'm just kind of pulling up on the edge and I will just put Let's do a little dab of our glue stick right back here so we can get the rest of that down. And then I like to kind of pull up on the edges there and then we can glue stick this in also. Right through there and then trim off our excess. I get asked all the time why in the world that I do decorate in my scripture journaling. Why don't you just write? Just write. It doesn't take as, as long. Well, you know, this doesn't take long at all. And I like looking at pretty stuff. <laughs> oh, way. And God's word is beautiful as is. I just like to pretty up my pages. Um, I used to do a lot of prettying up of um, planner pages. And I stopped doing that because I really truly did not see the reasoning behind that. Because a planner, I mean, you, you write in it, unless you're using it as a journal, you're getting a new planner the next year and you're never going to look at that planner again. So I I didn't see uh, the mindset of let's spend a bunch of money on planner supplies when you're not going to even... I mean, why would you go back and look at a planner again the next year? I mean unless it's just for the memories and that's fine too and I'm not saying that anybody should not decorate in a planner I just it's just not my cup of tea right now now I used to do it but I have not once and I guess after I got that one done and I saw that hey I'm not going back and I'm not looking at these planners and I've spent how much money decorating this planner and I didn't go back and look at any of it it's just sitting on a shelf so that was my mindset in planning in the planning world um, and why I stopped doing that I just didn't see the need anymore to do that okay so I like that let's ink this piece and this little ledger piece. I don't know all that's going to be seen, so I'll ink all around that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of dirtying up 
that and this. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on and then I will um, round that corner in a minute. So I'm going to use my double sided tape. And you can find this Scotch brand dispenser and the refills that I use that are not Scotch brand, but they're the refills that I use uh, in my Amazon storefront. And that is always linked in my descriptions of my videos. So there's that. And we want to add this and this like that but further down for that one like so yep I like that let's do the ledger piece and then this little torn piece And I said I wanted to add that so it kind of hung off the edge. So there we go. And then put on our other watercolor flower on book page. <laughs> okay. And then figure out. Yep. Let's just put it on like that. I like that and then I can just get a little bit of liquid glue and get that ledger page on down. Maybe just a touch right there too. Okay, well everything's going to fall over now. I think I've got all the decorating that I want done. I like that. Maybe a little um, word label there. Um, I think I've got one that says blessed. I surely do. So let's go with that. And we can add that down there. Ink as much as you can since it's so tiny. And go ahead and use liquid glue and get that put on. Oh, yeah, I like that. Pretty. It's a little crooked, Melina, so let's fix that. That's a little better. It's not cut out straight, so I'm not worried. Not too worried about that. All right, now I'm going to get my probably, let's see, which one. I think that one will work well. This is the Papermate Ink Joy, and I'm going to start writing my scripture here. We have two verses, so it might take up a lot of that, and then I'll write over here my thoughts and I will come back and read those to you put them back in the uh, B6 um, travelers notebook and um, yep get all that read to you and let you see a still shot at the end and instead of writing out Galatians I went and found some um, <laughs> alphas in my stash and I like when I'm going to use alphas, alpha stickers, I like to line them up on my ruler and then that lines them up on my page easily, easily as I almost said. All right, so there is Galatians and we are in chapter 6 of Galatians. Here's another little alpha set. 6. And then I'm going to make my own little colon. 
nine and ten. And I'm good with that not being straight. Today's date is the 16th. Okay, and I'm going to do my date there in this walnut stain. And I'm going to stamp here to make sure we got a good clear image and everything's where it should be and we're good so there's that almost got it up in there didn't i <laughs> oh well we're still good all right i'm gonna write all this and i'll be right back all right so we have finished our writing and let's put our insert back in our traveler's notebook galatians 6 9 and 10 says and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith and I put KJV Holy Bible underneath that just because I had some more room. And then this is what I wrote about these verses. We all get weary with everyday trials and heartaches, but the scriptures remind us here to be of good courage when we face trials in the midst of doing good. Because by and by we will harvest the good seeds we have sown as long as we don't quit. Stay on that good path, even if you don't feel you are making a difference. Be good to all people. Do right by everyone, not just believers. We are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus, and we are all his creation. So all people means, well, all, everybody. But these words from the Bible also tell us to do good, especially to those of the household of faith. Our ministers, brothers and sisters in Christ, our prayer warriors, prayer, I put pray, our prayer warriors, all of those who are not ashamed of the gospel and Bible truths. We are to help each other and band together to keep keeping on for Christ. So that is my scripture writing for today on this scripture Saturday. July the 16th, 2022, and I will leave my um, playlist for all of my Scripture Saturday um, and Traveler's Notebook. I'll leave those two, um, all of my playlists for those two things in the description box below. Y'all have a great day. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe here. I do all kinds of paper crafting on me crafty scrapper here on youtube and i would love for you to be a subscriber y'all have a blessed day love ya you are my people bye y'all